Bonjour, mes amis. Hello, my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for joining us today, and welcome back to Junior Elementary STEM class. Our lesson today is called Rube Goldberg Simple Machine, Part 3. For today's lesson, you will need a piece of bristle board, two half skewers, a quarter skewer, two wheels, a piece of string, a cup, your wheel and axle, and your lever. Today's lesson is about the pulley. A pulley is a simple machine that consists of a rope and a hub or drum in which there is a grooved wheel mounted with an axle. The pulley has a wide range of applications in many circumstances and can be used to make a variety of moving and lifting tasks easier. There are three main types of pulleys. A fixed pulley is one in which the wheel is secured to a single spot, while the force required to lift or move an object is no different than if you were lifting it by hand. The fixed pulley allows you to change the direction of the force needed. For example, when attached to a bucket pulling water from a well, a fixed pulley allows you to pull laterally to raise the bucket in a more convenient manner than if you were hauling a bucket of water up vertically hand by hand. The bucket of water will still feel like the same weight, but lifting is more convenient. A movable pulley is one in which the drum moves as you are moving the load. There is no change in the direction of force that you need to apply, but the load will feel lighter than it is, because half the load is supported by the structure the pulley is mounted to. If you were hauling a heavy hay bale up into the loft of a barn, for example, a movable pulley would make the load feel much lighter, although the direction you were pulling would be the same. In a compound pulley system, there is both a movable pulley as well as a fixed pulley. This means that not only does the load feel lighter, but you can also change the direction of the force. Although this type of configuration makes it possible to move heavy loads very easily, the trade-off is that considerably more motion is required to do the work. Let's play a game of what type of pulley is it. What type of pulley is this fishing rod? It's a fixed pulley. What type of pulley is this crane? The crane is a compound pulley. What type of pulley is this well? The well is also a fixed pulley. And what type of pulley are these blinds? The blinds use a movable pulley. All right, let's build our pulley model. Let's start by folding the bristle board in half. Make sure you line up the ends and corners together. Unfold it and turn it so that the fold points up. Now line up your ruler on one side of the fold and fold that side of the paper against the ruler. Line up the ruler on the other side and do the same there. Now fold down the two sides just to make sure they're really strong folds so that the structure can stand up on its own. Once you're done, pick a skewer that has a pointy tip and poke a hole in the top off to the right. Just like I'm doing here, let's get it to poke all the way through to the other side. 
Now take the skewer out and poke a second hole, but this time on the left top side. If you need help with this, don't hesitate to ask mom or dad. Now take the second half skewer and put it through the other set of holes. Now take the quarter skewer and put it through the middle of one wheel. Add the other wheel to it to create the wheel and axle you need for the pulley. Make sure that you have enough space for the pulley to fit inside your structure. Tie your string to one of the two half skewers. Again, if you need help, don't hesitate to ask mom or dad to help you. I tie this with just two simple knots to create one double knot. Now we need to attach the pulley to the bucket. We're gonna use masking tape to do this. Take a long enough piece of masking tape and attach the tip to one side of the pulley wheel. Now, leaving some space between the pulley and the bucket, attach the tape to the cup. Add a second piece of tape on the other side of the pulley wheel and attach it to the cup. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side of the pulley. Here you just have to be careful, make sure that there's the same amount of tape that is between the pulley and the cup on the opposite side. This is to make sure that the pulley is in the middle of the cup. I actually made a mistake here, so I had to detach the tape and try again. You can do this as often as you want. Keep trying until you get it right. Take one last piece to do the other side. And your pulley is, re is ready to and attached to your bucket. You can put the bucket and pulley inside your structure. Uh, one of my skewers actually became loose here. If that happens, just put it back in. Pass the string underneath the pulley. Make sure that it passes between the two wheels. Now pass it over the other skewer. And then on the other side, well, this will actually make your pulley system work. When you pull on the string, it'll raise the bucket. On the other side, you're going to make a loop knot. So first create one loop and then do a simple knot in, within the loop itself. Again, if you need help with this, please ask mom or dad. And you're finished your pulley system. Now let's build our Rube Goldberg simple machine. Start with your wheel and axle structure. Bring the bucket down to the ground as low as it can go. Place one end of the lever inside the bucket. Make this the end that likes to stay down. And now that loop that we made for our pulley system, place that around the other end of your lever. Now, I didn't do this, but you should. You should tape the bottom, the base of each simple machine to the table. It'll work better this way. When you crank the when you crank up the wheel and axle structure, it will lift the lever and then pull down on the pulley. Thank you, my friends, for joining Junior Elementary STEM class. Merci beaucoup. I'm sure you created a great, simple Rube Goldberg machine. Prends soin de vous, take care, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.